Hello and welcome to this video on the $7.2 billion dollar investment in the China Myanmar Kayak View Special Economic Zone project. In this video, we will discuss the background, current status, benefits, challenges, and future prospects of this project. The Kayak View Special Economic Zone project is located in Rakhine State, Myanmar, and is one of the largest infrastructure projects undertaken by China in the region. The project was initially proposed in 2009, and it aims to create a modern deep seaport, a 1,000-acre industrial park, and a residential area, among other things. The project is strategically important for China as it provides an alternative route for its oil imports from the Middle East and Africa, which currently pass through the Malacca Strait, a choke point that is vulnerable to disruptions. The Kayak Few SEZ project will also help China to expand its influence in Myanmar and the surrounding region. The Kayak Few SEZ project has faced several delays and challenges over the years. In 2015, Myanmar's new government suspended the project due to concerns about its environmental and social impact. However, the project was eventually revived in 2018, after negotiations between Myanmar and China. In October 2020, the Kayak Few SEZ project took a major step forward when a consortium led by China's CITIC Group won the bid to build and operate the deep seaport. The project is expected to create jobs, boost economic growth, and improve infrastructure in Rakhine State. The Kayak Few SEZ project has the potential to bring several benefits to Myanmar and the surrounding region. The project will create jobs and boost economic growth by attracting investment and promoting trade. The deep sea port will provide an alternative route for China's oil imports, which will reduce its dependence on the Malacca Strait and enhance energy security. The project will also improve infrastructure in Rakhine State, which is one of the poorest and most underdeveloped regions in Myanmar. The development of the SEZ will provide new opportunities for local businesses and entrepreneurs, and the construction of a new highway will improve connectivity with other parts of the country. The Kayak Few SEZ project is not without its challenges. The project has faced criticism from environmentalists, human rights groups, and local communities who are concerned about the impact of the project on the environment, local livelihoods, and cultural heritage. There are also concerns about the transparency and accountability of the project, as well as the potential for corruption and land grabbing. The project has been criticized for lacking consultation with local communities and for failing to address their concerns. The Kayak Few SEZ project has the potential to bring significant economic and social benefits to Myanmar and the surrounding region. However, the project must be implemented in a way that is transparent, accountable, and sustainable. This will require the involvement of all stakeholders, including local communities, civil society organizations, and the government. The success of the project will also depend on the ability of Myanmar and China to navigate geopolitical tensions and address the concerns of the international community. The Kayak Few SEZ project is just one example of China's ambitious infrastructure plans in the region, and it will be closely watched by other countries and investors. Additionally, it is important to note that the Kayak Few SEZ project is part of China's larger belt and road initiative, which aims to build infrastructure and promote economic development across Asia, Europe, and Africa. The Bri has been criticized by some for its potential environmental and social impact, as well as concerns about debt sustainability for participating countries. However, proponents argue that the BRI could bring significant economic and social benefits to participating countries, particularly those in Asia, by promoting connectivity, trade, and investments. In the case of the Kayak Few SEZ project, China has pledged to prioritize local employment and procurement, as well as environmental protection and social responsibility. The project is also expected to enhance connectivity and trade between China and Myanmar, as well as other countries in the region. As the project moves forward, it will be important to monitor its progress and impact and to ensure that it is implemented in a way that is transparent, accountable, and sustainable. This will require ongoing dialogue and engagement with local communities, civil society organizations, and the government, as well as cooperation between China and Myanmar. One of the main concerns surrounding the Kayak Few SEZ project is its potential environmental and social impact. The project is located in an ecologically sensitive area, and there are concerns about the impact of the deep seaport and other infrastructure on marine life and the surrounding ecosystem. There are also concerns about the impact of the project on local communities, particularly in terms of land acquisition and displacement. The project is expected to require significant amounts of land, and there are concerns that local communities may not be adequately compensated for the loss of their land and livelihoods. In response to these concerns, the Myanmar government has committed to conducting environmental and social impact assessments, as well as consultations with local communities. The Chinese consortium that won the bid to build and operate the deep seaport has also pledged to prioritize environmental protection 
and social responsibility. It remains to be seen how effective these measures will be at mitigating the environmental and social impact of the project. An ongoing monitoring and evaluation will be necessary to ensure that the project is implemented in a sustainable and responsible manner. Another key concern surrounding the Kayak VUSEZ project is transparency and accountability. There have been criticisms of the lack of transparency in the negotiation and awarding of contracts for the project, as well as concerns about corruption and land grabbing. In response to these concerns, the Myanmar government has committed to increasing transparency and accountability in the project, including through the establishment of a project management committee and an environmental and social management plan. The Chinese consortium that won the bid to build and operate the deep seaport has also pledged to work with local communities, civil society organizations, and the government to ensure that the project is implemented in a transparent and accountable manner. However, there is still significant work to be done in terms of ensuring that the project is transparent and accountable. An ongoing monitoring and evaluation will be necessary to ensure that the project is implemented in a way that is consistent with the principles of transparency and accountability. The Kayak View SEZ project is also significant in terms of its geopolitical implications. The project is part of China's larger Belt and Road Initiative, which has been criticized by some for its potential to increase China's geopolitical influence in the region. There have also been concerns about the potential for the project to exacerbate tensions between China and other countries, particularly India and the United States. India has its own plans for the development of the Rakhine state, and the United States has expressed concern about the potential for the project to undermine Myanmar's sovereignty. Despite these concerns, the Myanmar government has emphasized that the project is not a military one, and that it is focused on promoting economic development and improving infrastructure in the region. The Chinese consortium that won the bid to build and operate the deep seaport has also pledged to work with local communities and the government to ensure that the project benefits all parties involved. The success of the Kayak View SEZ project will depend on the ability of Myanmar and China to navigate these geopolitical tensions and to ensure that the project is implemented in a way that is consistent with the principles of mutual respect and cooperation. However, the success of the project will depend on a number of factors. First and foremost, it will be important to ensure that the project is implemented in a way that is transparent, accountable, and sustainable. This will require ongoing dialogue and engagement with local communities, civil society organizations, and the government, as well as cooperation between China and Myanmar. It will also be important to address the environmental and social impact of the project, particularly in terms of land acquisition and displacement, as well as marine and ecosystem impact. Myanmar has committed to conducting environmental and social impact assessments and consultations with local communities, and the Chinese consortium that won the bid to build and operate the deep seaport has pledged to prioritize environmental protection and social responsibility. However, ongoing monitoring and evaluation will be necessary to ensure that these commitments are upheld. In addition, it will be important to navigate geopolitical tensions and to ensure that the project benefits all parties involved. The project is part of China's larger Belt and Road Initiative, and there have been concerns about its potential to increase China's geopolitical influence in the region. It will be important to ensure that the project is implemented in a way that respects Myanmar's sovereignty and promotes mutual respect and cooperation. Finally, it is worth considering the broader implications of the Kayak View SEZ project for infrastructure development and economic growth in the region. The project is just one example of China's ambitious infrastructure plans under the Belt and Road Initiative, which aims to build infrastructure and promote economic development across Asia, Europe, and Africa. Critics of the Belt and Road Initiative have raised concerns about the potential environmental and social impact of the projects, as well as concerns about debt sustainability for participating countries. However, proponents argue that the Belt and Road Initiative could bring significant economic and social benefits to participating countries, particularly those in Asia, by promoting connectivity, trade, and investment. The success of the Kayak View SEZ project and other projects under the Belt and Road Initiative will depend on their ability to address these concerns and to ensure that they are implemented in a sustainable and responsible manner. This will require ongoing dialogue and engagement with local communities, civil society organizations, and the government, as well as transparency, accountability, and a focus on environmental protection and social responsibility. In conclusion, the $7.2 billion dollar investment in the China-Myanmar Kayakview Special Economic Zone project is a significant infrastructure project with the potential to bring economic and social benefits to Myanmar and the surrounding region. However, it also faces significant challenges related to its environmental and social impact, transparency and accountability, and geopolitical tensions. If these challenges can be addressed, the project could become a model for sustainable 
and responsible infrastructure development in the region, while also promoting connectivity and trade between China and other countries in the region.